the United States Air Force has quietly test flown a prototype of the next generation air dominance or NGAD fighter aircraft which will be a generation ahead of the F-22 and F-35 fifth generation jets, currently the most advanced warplanes in the world. USAF Head of Acquisition Will Rupert revealed about the NGAD full-scale prototype currently in flight testing during a media interaction on September 15, 2020. The Pentagon has earmarked $960 million for NGAD research, testing, development, and evaluation work in the 2020 U.S. defense budget, indicating that it is full steam ahead for the sixth-generation jet program. While no details about the Air Force NGAD were given by Will Rupert, some information was revealed as part of a U.S. Naval Institute article on the naval version of the NGAD fighter. The NGAD naval fighter is planned to replace the FA-18 Super Hornets and the EA-18G Growlers by 2030. U.S. Navy Acquisition Chief James Guterts told reporters in August 2020 that the service created a program office for the Next Generation Air Dominance Initiative. Brian Clark, a naval analyst and senior fellow with the Hudson Institute, told USNI News, Compared to the F-35's 700 nautical mile of combat radius, his impression is that the Navy hopes to build a new fighter with a radius of more than 1,000 nautical miles. The family of systems approach could see the Navy going down a path similar to the Air Force's NGAD pursuits, according to Clark, in which the Navy buys a manned fighter and uses different unmanned systems to supplement each individual mission. Because the new manned fighter aircraft would require stealth capabilities, speed and range, carrying heavy equipment like missiles could fall to the unmanned platform within the family of systems. The airplane could go up to 1,000 miles and the unmanned systems carrying missiles could go the rest of the way. So there is this family of systems now that instead of having 5 F-35 go to the same mission, you did send two of these new airplanes with some unmanned systems to do the same mission, Clark added. The NGAD prototype flight took the aerospace community by surprise. The last time the US Air Force flew an all-new experimental plane was during the battle for the Joint Strike Aircraft Contest some 20 years ago. What is not known or who will get the contract to build this most important aircraft of the 21st century? Lockheed Martin is the only company that has shown the concept of a 6th generation aircraft so far. However, the USNI article revealed that the US Navy has begun convening industry days for the NGAD. Boeing, Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman are the three likely competitors for the manned fighter. The NGAD is a radically different way of aircraft designing. Will Rupert calls it the Digital Century Series or DCS under which new aircraft variants would be rolled out every few years. The DCS approach relies on agile development, open architecture, and digital engineering to increase the speed of acquisitions and incentivize industry to focus on developing innovative new technologies rather than sustaining existing systems. While the acquisition strategy for the program has not yet been finalized, it plans to have contractors recompete as soon as every five years for small batches of aircraft, as few as 72 aircraft per type. The urgency and secrecy with which the Pentagon has proceeded with design and prototype flight of the NGAD is truly unprecedented in a world where the F-35 and F-22 still have no equal in China and Russia, both of which are still to mature their fifth generation aircraft, the J-20 and Su-57 respectively. The move could be aimed at undercutting European efforts to build next generation jets. The UK-led team to build the Tempest and the Franco-German consortium which is developing the Future Combat Air System or FCAS. These programs are intended to forge ahead of the US in 6th generation fighter technologies.
The Europeans had earlier rebuffed a Pentagon outrage to let US firms join in the FCA's program as they wanted to be free of US export controls on their military products. France and Germany have made it clear that their future fighter jets, land and naval systems would be developed within Europe.